Hey guys, welcome back. It's officially been five weeks that I've had dentures. I can't believe it. Um, not really much has changed since my last update. Things are going pretty well. Um, I've been eating a whole bunch of new things. Uh, I'm not having any issues with any sore spots really other than my one molar still feels like it's healing a little bit, but um, everything's going great as far as um, healing and stuff. I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling great, honestly. I don't even remember what life was like before dentures. Um, I have another adjustment, like a reline, I believe, at the beginning of June, the second week of June. Um, right now I do have a soft liner in, but it's not perfect. It's not holding my denture securely in place completely. I mean, it, it does have a nice suction, but it pops out pretty easily. So, um, I have been using some adhesive. Uh, I've been bouncing back and forth between two actually that I seem to like, which is the, um, Polygrip Cushion Comfort. I like this a lot as far as like a gel adhesive goes and then I also love this the polygrip powder um this is the super strong powder this stuff is like cement this stuff holds these suckers in all day maybe even two days if I'd let it go because it just holds them in there um but both of those are working really well for me um the mess afterwards you know typical it's pretty sticky the powder gives me less problems than the gel does as far as when they come out, but it's still pretty gross no matter what, you know. Um, but as far as um, I go, I've, you know, I've been eating, I've been trying just about everything that I feel hungry for. I have not had like steak or anything yet, which I'm pretty sure I could eat it if I wanted to. I just haven't had the opportunity. Um, I've been eating lots of burgers, hot dogs, um, chicken salad um chicken nuggets i had peanut m ms i eat chip potato chips pretzels um a donut i mean i i can go the list goes on and on there hasn't been anything that's really given me problems but i haven't really you know eaten anything that would be scary either so um but, you know, before I really started using a denture adhesive, I was really having a lot of issues with flopping around when I was chewing my foods. And now that I'm using an adhesive, um, I'm not having any rocking, any, like, movement with my dentures. They're staying in place and hold the entire time I'm chewing with no issue. So, I mean, in that aspect, things are great. So, I can't really complain. Um, I never imagined that at five weeks I'd be able to eat so well. I really thought that... This was gonna be like six months out before I'd ever be able to like begin to even think about chewing normal again. So it's definitely a relief to think that um, progress is so close in sight that I don't have to, you don't have to worry about waiting you know literally forever to feel good again. Um, I really thought that this was gonna be a long drawn out process. Now don't get me wrong, it's still very much a learning process, and I'm nowhere near perfect at this yet uh still a long way to go um but it's it's been easier to get used to than what I expected a lot easier to get used to than what I expected um I can't say that it feels like normal you know because obviously it feels different something is in my mouth that's abnormal something's in there that's stuck um, I feel like I have a, I feel the suction. I definitely feel the suction, but it's to the point that I don't think about it so much anymore. Um, it's just become so normal that I, I, unless I'm really like concentrating on the fact that I have a denture in my mouth, I, I don't really give it a second thought most of the time. So, I mean, it's great to think that the comfortability of it comes so easily. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy with my decision. Uh, now, the biggest thing I'm having an issue with is now I know that I need to get to work on fixing my bottom teeth. Um, they're very much in need of some work, and in order for me to save them, I have to get that work done. And I'm just chicken shit about it. I don't know why. For some reason, like, you know, I was terrified about the thought of having all these teeth pulled 
And even now knowing that it wasn't that bad, you know, I just cannot go into the dentist and get these fillings and stuff done. Um, for some reason, it's just the being awake and hearing the drill and stuff. I just, oh my gosh, I cannot do it. And I know I need some extensive work done on my back molars. Um, I'm going to be shocked if they don't need to pulled. And I need a partial at some point here. But, uh, I mean, they're not horrible, but they're pretty they're, they hurt pretty bad. And I have like fillings from when I was a kid that run pretty deep. So like a lot of my tooth is like gone and it's just filled with like a filling. So I'm worried like as far as like my teeth stability where they're at. But you know, it I'll get there. I just keep telling myself I need to take care of it now before it becomes a bigger problem because I don't want to lose my bottom teeth. I really don't. Um, But the whole point of me coming on here other than to give you a general update about how I'm doing was uh, before my surgery I came on and gave you a big long list of all these things that I bought in preparation for my surgery that I read on Facebook groups or heard in YouTube videos <laughs> I went crazy and bought everything under the sun that anybody recommended just in case I would feel like I needed to use it so basically what I want to do is show you what I actually used me not saying that you're gonna use it or that I'm not showing something that you may need that I'm not showing but this is what I used since my surgery um <clears throat> number one you're gonna need a denture cup um I have several I have this color I have purple I have blue there unfortunately I haven't found like some crazy pretty like colored denture cups pretty much they're just pretty plain and Jane boring type of thing you know um, I have, like, obviously I found them colored, but I haven't found ones with, like, cool designs on them or anything. That's a denture bath, you know, to put your dentures in at night to clean them. Um, you're also going to want some sort of denture cleaning tablet. Um, I have one of each kind. I got the Polydent. You can get any kind, even store brand. But these were the ones that people recommended. So I got the three minute as well as the overnight because... Sometimes I just wear my dentures all night and then I'll take them out in the morning and that's when I use the three minute that way when I'm cleaning my gums and brushing my bottom teeth, my teeth can soak and then I can brush them afterwards if I just want to put them straight back in my mouth. And then there are other times that I want to take them out overnight and I let them soak all night and that's what the overnight tabs are for. Um, I also purchased something called Stain Away, which is also... A denture cleaner that is for people who like drink a lot of caffeine like sodas teas coffee or if you smoke which I don't smoke like I know I've said it about my medical marijuana use but I don't smoke cigarettes so I don't know if my medical marijuana really has an effect I don't know we'll see but anyway I do drink a lot of caffeine and coffee tea soda that sort of thing so this stuff's supposed to be awesome as far as taking away like stains if because the acrylic does get stained up so this stuff's supposed to be great as far as taking away any staining or browning that may happen from drinking, smoking, whatever, eating, whatever. It, it works. It helps a lot for t cleaning your denture and getting them brighter white. Um, I did use that a couple times. I kind of like just mix it up every couple days. I use this, I use that. I'll switch it up if I feel like they need a little more whitening. I'll use the stain away that night. It just depends. Um, the next thing is Ben's Dent. Um, you know, a lot of people say this isn't the best thing to use because it has a warning on the back of it, but you know, this stuff was a lifesaver for me. And Aspen Dental told me that they actually used to sell this over the, over like for their patients, but they don't do it anymore. Probably because of the warning on the back, because it says you're not supposed to like ingest it, whatever. Um, but this stuff was a godsend for me when it comes to pain. I would literally whenever I would take my denture out to clean it for the, especially the first two weeks, whenever I would go to put it back in, once my denture was clean, I would line the inside of my denture with the Benzodent. What I would do was warm the bottle of Benzodent up in hot water. And then I would, um, cause that would, otherwise it's like real gritty, but if you warm it up first, it becomes real soft. So what I would do is warm it up and then I would spread it out inside my denture and then I would push it up inside my gums and because it was warm and like melted, it just like relieved the pain almost instantly. Um, you know, I, I don't think I could have handled putting my denture in and out without benzenin. 
and I'll be honest, I tried even the Kanka cream, or the Kanka brand, um, stuff that you put on, and it just, it hurt like hell, I don't know why, and it has the same exact ingredient in it, but I just could not use the Kanka, I, I couldn't, so, um, but I've, I've used two tubes of Benzodent so far, it is only available on Amazon, that's where I ordered it from. You can get it in two days if you have Prime, which is amazing. But um, I'm pretty sure that you cannot find Benzodent anywhere locally or in a pharmacy or anything. It's just sold online. Um, the next thing you're going to want is some kind of salt. You can even use regular old table salt. But they say that pink Himalayan salt helps heal faster. I'm not sure if there's truth to that. But I did just grab some Himalayan pink salt. And this is for salt water rinses. You're going to be doing those constantly, especially the first few weeks after surgery, in between meals, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> you know, every time you take your denture in and out, you're going to have to do salt water rinses to heal your gums and to cleanse your mouth because you can't brush your gums at first. So this stuff is going to be awesome as far as um, cleaning your mouth out. So you definitely want to get some of this for your warm salt water rinses. Um, next thing is going to be, you're going to want denture brushes. Uh, I actually found them super cheap on Amazon, so I bought, like, every color they had just to have them, just because they're good to have on hand, and they're good to switch out, because, like, I, like, you guys know, I've been battling thrush, so I gotta keep switching my brushes and stuff out so that it doesn't keep spreading, which it has been, unfortunately, I am still battling thrush, <clears throat> but, um, it is getting better, we're getting there, but I do have to keep swapping my stuff out um the next thing I use this like for everything every time I took my denture out I was also using this it's the or gel for mouth sores um some people love it some people hate it it does have peroxide in it therefore whenever you have healing gums and you're using that it does foam which some people get scared of the foaming and say that it hurts it burns it stings I myself actually liked the foaming. It made me feel like it was cleaning my gums really well. And when it foams, it does have stuff in it to help relieve pain. It's made by Aura Gel. So when it's foaming, it actually is working as far as like starting to numb your gums. So it's best to just, you know, leave it in and give it a chance to start working. Um, I think most people get frightened by the fact that it's bubbling. So they freak out and spit it out before it actually starts to work. But I do recommend it because it helped me tons. I think I... I went through two full bottles and now I'm using just regular um, mouthwash, but it did help tremendously whenever my gums were healing. Um, another person, a lot of people actually, might recommended the C-Bond um, denture adhesive strips at first because you can't really use denture adhesive for the first few weeks while you're healing. They don't recommend using anything near your incision sites while you're healing, so you can't really use any kind of adhesive until you're like three to four weeks out. But you can use the C-Bond adhesive strips. Um, they're like little wafers. They're real soft. They go on the top or bottom of your denture. They have uppers and lowers. These are great. Um, they're very hit and miss. You gotta, it's a learning curve. You gotta get used to them and how they work, but they do work well as far as holding your denture in when you're not able to use regular adhesive. They're definitely helpful. Um, what else? You definitely want to get some sort of children's or baby soft toothbrushes to um, clean the acrylic teeth part of your denture because you don't want to use a denture brush on that. It's too abrasive. It will cause scratches on your acrylic. And you also want these to clean your gums with at first because your gums are going to be super tender and you don't want to go in brushing healing gums with a hard bristled toothbrush. That's going to hurt really bad. So, definitely pick up on some of those. Um, <clears throat> what else? Definitely you want some ibuprofen, Tylenol, uh, naproxen. You definitely want some pain relievers for especially that first week to help with swelling and pain, depending on what your doctor prescribed you. For pain management, um, I was one of those unlucky folks that really depended heavily on ibuprofen and I unfortunately caused my stomach ulcer to act up severely in the process. I ended up going to the emergency room where they actually then prescribed me the right kind of pain medication I needed, but by that time I was pretty much healed and didn't need the medicine. Yay me. 
but definitely take your medicine keep on top of it you're definitely going to want some ice packs for especially the first two days ice 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 20 minutes on 20 minutes off and then after the first two days you're going to want to add in some heat with a heating pad or a warm bo warm water bottle something you know um get some heat on there because that definitely helps get your blood flowing to help with healing and also help with pain relief you're definitely going to want to sleep elevated for the first two to three nights to help with swelling. Laying flat's definitely going to cause your face to puff and blow up like a balloon. Um, what else? Definitely stock up on things like protein shakes or meal replacement shakes like Slim Fast or uh, Premier Protein. You're definitely going to want things like uh, instant mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese, um, even things like tuna crock pot meals, anything that's soft, oatmeal, grits, um, applesauce, yogurt, jello, anything that you can pretty much just gum and not really have to chew. That's what you're looking for. Um, honestly though, I think maybe I struggled with eating really bad for the first three, four days. And then slowly I began to be able to chew things that were soft, like pasta. Spaghetti was my best friend because Honestly, I wasn't even chewing it at first. I was just cutting it up into really small bites and swallowing it whole just to give myself that full feeling. Um, but after the first week or so, I started to practice chewing and it wasn't long before I was able to finally start chewing softer things. And here I am five weeks out and I can pretty much eat just about anything without pain. It's just a matter of getting used to chewing because that bite force isn't there like it was before. And, you know, I never really thought about how much that would change. You know, you think to yourself, well, there's teeth in there, you know, you're biting. You're still biting with your mouth. It's, it's, you do not bite nearly as strongly as you did when you had real teeth. Um, even I've just gone, you know, to rip something open, even just like a wrapper or something, just to like, you know, grab it and tear it open. Nah, not gonna happen. <laughs> Although, I will say I have unfortunately somehow taught myself a stupid way to still continue to bite my fingernails, which is a bad nervous habit that I broke for about a year, and here I am back to biting them again. Boo. But, I mean, all in all, things are going great. I can't complain too much. I really can't complain at all. Um, other than the thrush and battling that crap. I've gotten really used to everything and things feel really great. Um, things are going great. I'm learning to talk again. I can sing. I'm eating well. Uh, I'm smiling. It feels so good to smile. I can't even tell you, you know, because forever I was missing my back teeth. So I was always ashamed to smile. I always felt like I had to hide my face anytime I would smile really big because my molars were showing and you could see the gaps in my missing teeth. And now I find myself laughing so hard and it's like, then I'll catch myself like, oh my gosh, cover your mouth. And then it's like, oh my God, I don't have to. Wow. I don't have to. It's, it's a great feeling. It's such a good feeling. Um, I look back at my old YouTube videos and I don't even recognize myself. It's, it's crazy almost. But, um. I hope everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day, all you mothers out there. I'm sorry that I forgot to say that in my last video that I posted prior to Mother's Day. Um, I was just so scatterbrained trying to get everything out in my video that I didn't even think of it. But I hope that um, everyone had a wonderful weekend. And I hope you're having a great weekend this weekend. Hopefully the weather is turning beautiful where you're at like it is here. And um, hopefully we'll be enjoying some beautiful summer weather here soon. But, um... If anyone has any questions as far as E-Day goes or anything after, anything that follows suit with dentures or even just anything in general, you know, because I've talked about my hair or my thyroid or anything, just please feel free to ask. I would love to have maybe even a Q&A one of these nights on here just because I'm trying to find reasons to make videos. But uh, hopefully this video was helpful to someone and I appreciate everyone who keeps coming back to check in on me and see how I'm doing. Um, I appreciate all the love and support through this entire process because I couldn't have done this without y'all. And I look forward to coming back all the time with my updates just to talk to the folks who I talk to every week. And I hope you're all doing great and I hope you have a beautiful weekend. 
and I will be back soon with some sort of update. Uh, but don't forget to keep on smiling.